countdown to Paula Abdul's shocking lawsuit accusing her former American Idol and So You Think You Can Dance executive producer Nigel Lithgow of sexual assault. In the court documents obtained by ET, Paula alleges the first assault occurred in an elevator during the initial seasons of Idol when Nigel, quote, shoved her against the wall, then grabbed her genitals and breasts and began shoving his tongue down her throat. Not thrilled. Nigel has vehemently denied the allegations, telling ET they have always been entirely platonic friends, and Paula's history of erratic behavior is well known. Oh my God, I thought you sang twice. <laughs> You're seeing the future, baby. So why is Paula coming forward all these years later? According to the docs, the statute of limitations would have ended on December 31st, two days after she filed. Now to a true crime case back in the headlines. May the jury find the defendant not guilty. It's been 12 years since Casey Anthony's acquittal in the murder trial of her nearly three-year-old daughter, Kaylee. Now E.T. has the exclusive first look of Casey's parents, George and Cindy Anthony, back on TV, panic attacks and all kept hoping upon hope that she would confess. And that's the only reason I've been put myself through all of her drama. I'm having a hard time, I'm having a panic attack, I'm sorry. Casey Anthony's parents, The Lie Detector Test premieres Thursday on A&E. In the special, George goes on the record about Casey's 2011 allegations he molested her and her daughter. I could still report him for what he did to me. I'm trying to help him because if he blows all this, he can end up in jail. Meanwhile, convicted killer and Munchausen by proxy abuse survivor Gypsy Rose Blanchard is enjoying her first week of freedom after being released from a Missouri state prison. Hey everyone, this is Gypsy. I'm finally free. The 32-year-old broke her social media silence and celebrated the new year locking lips with her husband Ryan, who she met and married while serving eight and a half years for her mother's murder. So what's next? She never wanted me to find love or be happy. Her new Lifetime docuseries, The Prison, Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, premieres Friday. But one thing remaining on Gypsy's post-prison bucket list? Meeting Taylor Swift. I promise that you'll never find another like me. Gypsy had hoped to meet her idol during Sunday's Chiefs game in Missouri, but she was reportedly forced to leave the state by her parole board. It's going to be really awesome to have some family time after so long. 